bitter battle between a Jackson County cattle company and its neighbors appears to be over. Valley Oaks State Company says it is closing. Neighbors fought the company's plans to expand, pointing to concerns about the smell and the possible threat to groundwater. Emotions have run high. And today, in a statement announcing the decision to close, Valley Oaks said, we have been stalked, threatened, and slandered. Our children have been targeted, bullied, and threatened. Several of our cattle were shot dead in the field, no doubt as a warning to us. KCTV 5's Caroline Sweeney is live tonight with more on the company's decision and reaction from neighbors tonight. Caroline? Yeah, Brad, well, this is really simple. The family owned company said if they weren't going to be able to grow, they couldn't stay competitive. And signs like this say no to Valley Oaks are a sign of the times out here in Lone Jack. With public pushback like this and an injunction from the courts, it seemed unlikely that growth was going to be possible for Valley Oaks. However, KCTV 5 News just learned that in July of this year, the company filed for a new permit. The attorney for Powell Gardens tells me that that permit is currently under appeal. Now, Valley Oak State Company has less than 1,000 cattle. Originally, they wanted to expand to have nearly 7,000. The newest permit they applied for in July was an attempt to get close to 3,000 cattle instead. In a lengthy Facebook post, the company said not expanding left them out of the competitive market and they couldn't make ends meet. But it also pointed to another issue, a lawsuit making its way through the courts fighting the expansion. Powell Garden said the expansion would cause harm to the plants and the environment and the smell from 7,000 cattle could impact events at the garden. Imagine you're out here for one of those events and you smell that. Quickly, it could do a lot of damage to the garden. We could lose the bookings and the revenue, and then people stop coming because we don't smell like a fresh air botanical garden, but instead um, a CAFO. Now, the permit that was filed in July was filed under Valley Oaks Feeders. It's a different name than what we've been, what we've been seeing publicly, Valley Oaks Steak Company. An attorney for the Ward family who owns the land and the company called me within the last 20 minutes. He tells me that all of the butchering and the slaughtering and the processing of the cattle on the farm that are about two miles from where we currently stand, that's all been finished. And in the near future, cattle will not be raised on the land out here in Lone Jack. Live in Lone Jack, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News.